Hey, I'm using a gift from Joe Levis in Kauai. Called, this is a cockalure called Papa Joe, named after Joe Levis. So we're going to um, try to do a little plugging with that for now. See what happens. All right, tied onto this leader. I got a double barrel swivel right here. And this is like rated for 180 pounds. It's steady enough to fit to the guides, but I don't whip or plug with that um, two of those guides. I only leave it on when I'm storing it or you know transporting it to my site like this. See? And it's, it's very low profile in the water when you throw it. Um, unfortunately, the wind's changed a bit. It's coming towards me now. It was uh, going the opposite way, which was better. Nice reef platform there. This is a gift from Joe Levis, WWJ, Whippy with Joe from Kauai. So I gotta catch something with it because Joe sent it to me. <laughs> and the way I, I tied it on, I use a Rapala knot. So this way you're gonna get um, two pieces of line rather than one. So in case something like a barracuda comes by, less chance of it biting through. Now this is a prototype spinner. Has it hit the market yet? Uh, John Bretza asked me a couple months ago to give it a try. So I'm giving it a try. But look at that. Just from the way it moves, you can tell that this is a uh, line layering system involved with this spinner. This is uh, for more, for the light poppers to ensure um, bait casting. I'm just trying it right now for popping and then later on I'm gonna uh, bait cast some small baits on it. But it looks like a beautiful, beautiful reel. With, it has a line keep on the other side. This looks like um, an area where they may put one. Like I said, this is a prototype. It's experimental. No box, no stats. It's, it's actually something I just need to figure out. Okay, the uh, rod is also a prototype rod. This is the Hawaiian Custom. It's the Shoreline Plugger. Three were made. This is a nine foot six. Two others are roughly an eight foot seven. The two, uh, the two of the smaller ones are meant for a heavy duty plugging. This one was meant for all day usage. So it's, it's I prefer this one because I can uh, plug all day long with no problems. As you can see from the stats, it's nine foot six inches. 30 to 65 pounds test line and 30 to 160 grams. So it covers a wide range of what you can use this for. I mean, you can use this for a jiggy rod, you can use this for uh, plugging, uh, short casting, anything. And I believe it's coming out this summer. I would get this. I, I absolutely love this. This is my all purpose rod right now. Oh, I hate going into the wind. Got no choice though. Oh, this wheel is so smooth and it's so, so light. Look right there, Barracuda. Oh no, that's not, no, I don't know. Now I'm not too sure. It, it could be a, aha. Which is a very toothy needlefish. Let me see. Oh, 
Well, I couldn't entice it, but at least he took an interest in it. We're going under. Oh, yeah, it's a good size one. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Back up, back up. Yeah, get him. Get him. Woo, that's that one you wanted, the big one. Yeah, Walk him in the line because I will put the power line, so I all, all power line now. Oh, well, the hook caught in the net. Oh, good one. Thank you. Wow. It's, it's probably an, an OEO. I guess it's probably a wheel. Oh, I think he's. I don't know. He's coming. No, I, I feel it. It's. No, he's he's playing in the rocks in the reef. I can feel the line going against the reef. Yeah, he he, he was turned around in the reef. Oh. Just not going to force it. I think he's caught in the reef again. Yeah, he's stuck in the rock. Cause look, yeah. see, look, going lax with this. You know, it could be an eel, right? An eel going to the reef. Yeah. I think it's an eel. Ah. Just gonna have to wait it out. When he wants to come out, he'll come out. Yep. Oh, he, he's still fighting. Still fighting. Ah, still in the reef. <sighs> Line must be wrapped around a rock or he, he's in a hole. Just got to wait it out. Uh, make sure I don't lose this rig. <sighs> 